Hey everyone, Kristen here, Vermont Gardening Adventures. It is Wednesday, July 7th, I think, yes. And just wanted to give a quick garden update on what's been happening, so let's take a look. Okay, so first up are the beans, and as you can see, those are getting ready to flower. Once that happens, I'm hoping that the beans will just take right off and be very productive. And the other thing we did is I ripped up all the lettuce. We had that three days of rain and there was just no saving the lettuce. So I ripped it up and I actually planted more beans here. I planted two different varieties. One is called the yard long bean. Never grown those before, so figured we'd give those a try. The squash and zucchini. As you can see, I am still fighting the cucumber beetle. They are still kind of having at it with the plants. Doing the best I can to keep up with them, but uh, got a lot on my plate right now. So it's uh, getting harder to keep up with them at this, this week anyway, in particular some more of the squash and zucchini plants as you can see the it's a battle with these beetles uh, not really sure <laughs> what the options are other than what I've been doing but I do have a couple that are producing flowers that's exciting and over here where there was lettuce that just had gone by because of the rain. I've ripped that up and planted more peas to have a second crop of peas. They are still producing right now and actually I need to uh, harvest a bunch so they don't go bad on the vine. And the peppers are still hanging in there. This one right here is the best looking pepper that I've got so far of this variety. These were all purchased from our local nursery. Onions are still going well. All right, so here's the, one of the cucumbers and it seems to be doing all right. Got some flowering happening. Not much else at this point, just the flowers. They are starting to at least vine up the trellis. They were beaten down pretty badly by the rain. And then of course, there's the cucumber beetles, which as you can see with this one, <laughs> it's a tough battle. It really is. Um, some of you that are uh, fighting this battle, you know how tough it is. It just seems like no matter what you do, they're just having their way. The big boy tomatoes are finally getting ready to flower. So I'm looking forward to that. These are the sweet cluster tomatoes. They are still producing very well. These again were bought from our local nursery. Some flowering happening here on this big boy getting ready to flower. Oh, we do have a flower on this one as well. See if I can find it. It's down there. The sun sweet tomatoes, those are doing very well. And actually there's another one down here that probably could be picked any day. Got another group here, one starting to turn. Another group there. Another one there, and another group there. So that's doing very well. My Roma tomatoes are now flowering. So that's very exciting. That one's not quite flowering yet, but we have flowers on, I think, all of the other ones. Oh, this one's still getting ready. This one's getting ready. 
This one's had quite a few flowers. This one's had quite a few flowers and let's see if I can find it. Right here. Oh, we should switch that camera angle. Here we go. So right here, we have the start of our very first Roma. I'm pretty proud of that. It's a huge accomplishment for me, having never grown these. These were all done from seed, so I'm really thrilled about that. And again, more squash zucchini. Quite a few have been eaten. The grape tomatoes, those are doing okay. I haven't seen any hornworms, but I am seeing a lot of this. And I believe that is the flea beetle. And some of them are more eaten than others. Doing what I can here to help these grape tomatoes along. Looks like this one's getting ready to flower. So that'll be exciting. Those were also all grown from seed. I had two California wonder peppers grown from seed that were not in the garden. Decided to throw those in a pot together just to see how they do. See if they do any better than the other pepper plants that I have. Those are just the other, the other peppers are just bell peppers. And then I had a bunch of extra Roma tomatoes. And since I seem to be doing pretty well at growing tomatoes and I had extras, why not? <laughs> So, threw those in the pots. If all of these produce tomatoes this year, I'm going to be real happy. Because I'm really looking forward to making tomato sauce. So, let's head on down to the other side of the garden. Here we have the container cucumbers. Those are actually doing pretty well. Only a, a little bit of destruction by the beetle. We have the one lone sunflower that has made it. We have more squash, zucchini down in this row. Some of them I'm not sure if they're gonna make it, but we're letting them go. And again, I had a lot of extra Roma tomato plants. So I ripped up all of the broccoli, cauliflower, and kale completely and replaced them with the Roma tomatoes and staked them. I'm actually out of tomato cages. So we planted nine in the ground and I think six in pots. I had a piece of kale that had broken off a while ago stuck it in some water, waited till it grew a bunch of roots, and then I plopped it in the ground. I don't know if it's gonna make it, but hey, I didn't have anything to lose, so we'll see what happens. You got the pretty ravaged squash and zucchini here. Let's see what happens with that. Same thing here. I pulled the romaine from this one. I haven't planted anything yet. And I pulled the lettuce from here. The storm just wiped it all out. We've got the lone surviving watermelon, which should be a lot bigger by now. So I don't know if that one's gonna actually do anything this year. The one lone cantaloupe, which literally looks like it's gonna die any moment of every day. <laughs> Carrots are doing really well. Not a lot, but hey, it's something. Cabbage is still hanging in there. I keep checking for worms when I can. Haven't seen any, but there's definitely some holes in the leaves. Although, there doesn't seem to be any additional new holes. They seem to just be the same ones. But the cherry tomatoes, and look at that. 
first Japanese beetle. I guess I will be having to put out traps for those as well. The thyme is looking great. The nasturtium is still plugging along. Marigolds. Zinnias, Cosmos. And let's take a look at the lettuce in the raised bed. That seems to be doing remarkably well. I had to cut quite a bit back uh, after that last storm, but as you can see, it's really come back quite a bit. And gosh darn it, look at those beetles, man. Look at them. Guess what, guys? No free lunch for you today. I'm going to have to send you bye-bye. All right. Well, that's probably going to be it for me today. I got to go take care of the uh, beetle invasion and not the British kind. So I hope everyone's having a great day. You're having some successful gardening and hang in there and uh, have a great one.